Hi, my name is Rob, and this is my wife, Martine. Martin, but don't try to say that in English because, anyway. You tried. <laughs> <laughs> so we just say Martine, it makes a lot of M A R T I N E. It's like Martina in Spanish. But it's Martine in without, French. without the A. We live in Quebec. If you drive east to New York City, you turn left and you go north through the Adirondack Mountains and across the border, you come upon a stunning reality the Quebecois people. There are millions of French speakers that live mostly along the banks of the St. Lawrence River. The province of Quebec is about the size of Alaska, so it's enormous, it's huge. Quebec City, a beautiful European-styled walled city. Uh, and then uh, Montreal, uh, the metro Montreal area is about four million people, that's where we live. It's one of the premier French-speaking cities in the world. So what do you love about the Quebecois? What I love about you know the Quebecer, I think it's their sense of humor. Yeah. Earthy, a lot closer, <laughs> I think, and in the moment yeah. than Americans are, generally yeah. speaking. Yeah. I grew up in Montreal, in the north north of Montreal. That's my, my province, that's my country, and I love it here. And English is your second language. I think they know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming my second language too. So I grew up outside of Portland, Oregon. When I met Christ, I was very young, mm -hmm. uh, and and I, I see how how he is his his hand has been under me throughout my life mm -hmm. uh, up to today. In 1998, I was invited to France for six weeks, and, and that rocked my world. I, I I discovered the French language, which is beautiful, la langue française. Uh, I discovered the French-speaking world, well over 200 million French speakers with, with French as their first language all around the world. I had no idea. Um, and I discovered a French-speaking girl from Montreal, Quebec. And we met in Paris, France. If you got to meet, you meet your wife in a city, uh, you might as well meet her in Paris. Mm -hmm. I received Christ as my personal savior each Sunday morning. I remember having my Sunday school teacher telling me to pray each Sunday, each time I go into church, and to pray and raise my head if I did the prayer in my heart. And each Sunday I was doing the prayer because I, was, I wanted just to make sure that I was going to heaven. But then later I understood what it was to receive Christ as your personal savior, to obey him and to have a relationship with God. And that's when I was part of a Christian drama group as a teenager, that's when I, I met God. We got married and, and moved to Quebec uh, and uh, we're part of planting a French speaking church and then overseeing other church plants. And, and over the first 10 years we were in Quebec, uh, we saw 17 new churches planted all across the province. It was amazing. We saw transformed lives and, and it was really, really hard at the same time. We had a transition to, and we moved to Colorado. And then that's when we learned that Rob uh, had cancer. So during chemo, and uh, Rob decided that he wanted to of course, do seminary, because why not? And yeah. I mean, I was at home doing chemo. Yeah. I mean, I might as well study yeah. at the same time. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah, of course. And then we... And then after that, I, yeah. I, I went oh, to and, injury mission. That's yeah, super that, important. That's, yeah, you were, you, were, okay. you were fine. The doctor said that you were good. That's when we went to France. Mm -hmm. And then in, in France, involved in, in North Africa. That's when we found out about my father, uh, his cancer, Alzheimer's, those kinds of things, a whole host of personal crisis. And we're trying to figure out, okay, where do we go? How, mm -hmm. how do we continue this mission in the French speaking world? And it just made sense to be in Come Quebec. Back. Our passion is that every man, woman, and child in Quebec would come into contact with the gospel in a comprehensible manner, in a, in a relational fashion, and discover that their creator, the God of the universe, loves every man, woman, and child. We're involved in church planting and all of the ABCDs of church planting, uh, from assessment to uh, basic training, to coaching, to development. We're also part of the Redeemer City to City Network, if you've heard of Tim Keller. We're, we're the French speaking part of that with a team of people. And we have a two-year uh, incubator 
uh, church planting training process. And, and right now we're actually going through our fifth cohort here in Quebec. We, we've actually seen several dozen churches planted through that. It, it's been, again, amazing and really difficult. Uh, and we have partnerships with 15 different church families here in Quebec. What would you like to end with? Well, I would like to first say thank you for praying for us, thinking of us. We want to make sure that you know that we are also praying for you guys. So we're partners and we're part of the same mission, even if we're thousands of miles mm -hmm. and different cultures apart. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.